What's up everybody, this is Derek here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another interesting drop location on Miramar, the new desert map for PUBG Mobile that was introduced after the recent 0.5.0 global update. So in previous videos in the series, we've looked at the mines, we've looked at the islands to the east of the mainland, we've also looked at Picado Arena as well as Hacienda. So. So far we have been all around the map and that's going to continue because I've gotten a lot of good positive feedback about doing these videos and showcasing some locations that uh, you might not have been familiar with. So today we're going to be focusing on a town or one of the larger towns on the map, San Martin. However, we're not going to be dropping in the middle and going for one of those large apartment complexes. Now that is a fun way to play, however I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a easier place to drop I guess if you want to get the same good loot and have a chance to engage people however don't necessarily want to have to worry about immediately getting a weapon and then getting owned so especially as players rank up they tend to be a little more conservative in where they drop because you don't want to lose a ton of ranking points by dying stupidly early so one of the ways you can avoid that is by looting somewhere where there aren't as many other people going, but there's still good quality loot. That way you can enter the mid game well equipped. However, you don't necessarily have to fight for it the same way you do in a Picado Arena, for example, where you know you might be able to get four or five kills right away and end up with amazing gear, or you might get owned uh, and then lose a ton of ranking points, which, like I said, as you rank up becomes more and more of an issue. So. Here we go, we are dropping, we are focusing on the northwest corner, it's actually up on a little plateau that overlooks San Martin, the, uh, the actual town or city or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's where we're going to be going. So you can see here I am floating, I still have to do that video on the new drop methods. It's very difficult to get over 2000 meters after the update, it's possible but it's not easy. Uh, this way, the way I was dropping right now, gets you about 1800 or so which is phenomenal, it's still one of the best ways to drop. However, we'll kind of just rehash what the drop mechanics mean, uh, you know, what the changes are and what they mean for everybody. So you can see an M416 right away and a car 98. So that is pretty good from the initial building. And as pistol suppressor, I really shouldn't have picked that up because we don't have a pistol slot yet. I keep forgetting that this is not 0.6.1 where you also have a pistol slot. So I probably shouldn't have picked that up. We've got a level one for our armor and that's pretty good. So I'd recommend either starting here or starting on the north end doing the uh, same thing basically on these open concrete structures. I'm going to switch to the M16 then switch back to the M416 to get that extra ammo, those 30 extra rounds of 5.56 which is very helpful at this point. And now I'm going to kind of work my way around this. It's shaped like a U, the entire complex, so you just start up one corner or the other and kind of just work your way around. And uh, let's see what else we've got here some bandages, so nothing too crazy in these smaller houses. I'm going to check in this bus, I think. I don't think there, nah, there's nothing there. Also going to probably just take a peek inside these crates, no. Um, however, something could spawn there, so it's not a bad idea to just check. So you'll notice that these houses definitely have lower quality loot than the open concrete one I started in. There's a uh, extended mag and for an AR though, and a backpack level three, so we'll take that. And now we've kind of worked our way up to this other complex of open concrete houses. So I'm going to grab a quick draw for a sniper just in case, grab that frag grenade maybe, uh, and work my way through these guys. we got a flash hider, so not bad. Some pretty decent, and like I said again, the, the good loot here can be found. There's a level 2 helmet and a first aid kit, pretty sweet. The, the good loot can be found either here or on the other side, the um, like to the southwest of where we are, where I started. That's where you're going to find your better weapons and your better ammo and, you know, attachments and all that. So there's an AK, so I think we'll swap that for the car and then uh, potentially swap back. We don't have any optics yet, which is annoying, but there's another frag grenade, so we're definitely set up there. And I think I'll just check up here. Uh, these guys do have roofs where... Also, decent stuff can spawn. If you notice other people dropping here too, it's very unlikely, but if you notice other people dropping here, you might want to drop on a roof. That way you can just get an early uh, early game weapon and then stand a chance you know, to be able to uh, snipe them from the rooftop before they even know where you are. So this is just a fun little spot. Uh, I'm not going to call it underrated or best spots or whatever, but if you want to drop in San Martin and don't want the insanity of dropping in the apartments, 
then this is a decent alternative. You can see I have an M416, I have a Car 98, level three backpack, level two vest, level two helmet. Got some healing items, some frag grenades, and I'm pretty well set up for the mid game, honestly. I mean, you know, obviously I could use level three and I could use uh, scopes and stuff, but for a small complex that you can loot in just a couple minutes, it's not bad. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm just going to check to make sure I didn't miss anything over here in this first house. There's a mini, so I did miss something. Uh, I'm going to swap out and then swap back to the M4 again. That way we get the ammo from the mini, which is 20 rounds, but it's still something. And I think I'm going to check up here too and see if there's any uh, rooftop that I can climb up on. Because I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling it's the same. So there we go. So... Here we go, another first aid kit, that's pretty sweet, and another level three backpack, actually. So again, if you were dropping on the roof, then you would have started with some pretty good equipment. So now let's just take a look. We can survey the main town or city and see what's going on. You can see if anybody's moving around, and if you had optics, then you could potentially snipe from here because not a lot of people expect people up on this plateau. Otherwise, what you're gonna have to do is find a vehicle or make your way into the main town and then find a vehicle, continue looting, and I'm probably gonna start uh, with one of these warehouses that's kinda on the outskirts of the town just to see what is in there. So I'll just take a look around here and see there's uh, some movement over to my left, but nothing too crazy and nothing to be really concerned with. So that's pretty much the uh, end of that quick looting video of the Northwest location. At this point, you are in San Martin, and there's some decent equipment in here too, so while I'm doing the outro, we'll just keep looking around and seeing what we can find. This is a good way, especially if you're playing duos or squads. I wouldn't recommend dropping there as a squad anyways, just because there's not enough loot, but if you're playing duos, then you definitely want to supplement that location with something like this, where you can just find those extra, you know, two, three weapons, um, maybe some better armor, a red dot or something as far as optics and then uh, go from there so you can see right away now we have a holographic and a two times so that will definitely serve us well in continuing to build our loadout this game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, location if you did definitely give the video a like to help the channel grow and consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG mobile content my name is Derek G and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in the Discord, which I'll also leave a link to down below.